Hello everyone, my name is Marian Andre and today we're taking this beautiful BMW 7 Series for a test drive. Here is the key with a small screen where I can see information about the car and I can lock it and unlock it. Let's get inside in this 140,000 euros car. Now, this is a keyless car so I can put the key wherever I want. Let me show you a bit uh, of what you can see on this uh, Key. You can see if it's uh, unlocked or locked, you can see uh, the windows, you can see information about the lights, the range, both on gasoline and electric motor. You can uh, set some preconditioning settings and that's it. You can lock it from here and you can charge it here. So in order to start this car, you have to press the start button. The steering wheel comes down and if I see ready here, that means the car is ready to start. I can put it in drive and let's do a fast start. On, that's 90, the maximum speed on this road. I also have assisted driving mode and now the car can drive by itself and it got the information uh, of the speed limit from GPS or traffic signs. And if I press the set button, it will automatically set the speed to the maximum legal on that road. If I don't keep my hands on the steering wheel, you'll see on the head-up display or on that uh, display there, the wheel is turning yellow. I have these flashing yellow lights. And if I don't put my hands on the steering wheel, let's see what happens. Oh, so we have a red warning now. We have some... Uh, lights and the vehicle is stopping by itself and I have this uh, brake jams let's see okay so the car stops I'm taking back the control like in an airplane <laughs> the engine sounds lovely we have 394 horsepower from both the gasoline engine and the electric motor which is mounted in the gearbox, in the Steptronic gearbox. And we also have 600 Newton meters of torque, which, is, uh, which feels lovely, but I'm not impressed with the fuel consumption, which is 17.5, which is, in my opinion, huge. It's a huge problem. The huge problem. That is a huge problem. And I didn't have time to uh, charge the battery, which has a range of about 30 to 35 kilometers. Now on the 7 series we have this beautiful display that we have seen before on the 8 series. We also have this camera here that uh, works in a similar um, way with the Face ID from iPhone. It's uh, looking at my eyes to see if I'm paying attention to the road. Otherwise, the assisted driving mode will not work. We also have a new iDrive system with icons and widgets we can, which I can personalize really easily. And I'll show that once we uh, get to a stop. Uh, now for driving, we have new buttons here with sport, hybrid and electric modes. Um, and every mode uh, has different sub-modes, let's say. So for the sport, we have sport and individual, so I can configure it with individual. We also have hybrid with free uh, functions, which is standard Eco Pro and Comfort. And I also have a full electric mode, but with two settings like standard and individual, we have this beautiful theme uh, and it limits the power of the car. Let's put it back in uh, hybrid because this is the default setting and I can uh, set it in comfort. I can also choose um, the value of the battery charge so I can set a target that I want to keep, let's say 90%. And I can also lower the suspension. We have full air suspension all around the car and it feels like I'm floating right now. Even though we have 20 inch alloys, this car feels very, very comfortable. It also has a light steering and the car feels very responsive because we have steering on all four wheels. The wheels on the back steers also um, at low speeds in the opposite way of the front wheels and at higher speeds of over 40 km per hour they steer in the same direction as the front wheels. And this makes the car feel very nimble and light, even though it's a big luxury limousine. Let's get to a stop so I can uh, show you other cool features on this car. There's a very good turning circle and it's very easy to maneuver. So let's put it in uh, parking mode. 
what I can see front camera, mirror cameras with this 3D view of the car, and also rear camera. There's really good resolution. And if I put it in reverse and I start to steer, you can see that the camera it's panning with my wheel controls and that that is really lovely I can put it in drive and do the same thing and it works really well and it's also using augmented reality uh, for obstacles but I can also do this which is really really amazing I can use the 3d view and I can use gesture control to scroll around the car <laughs> And here's the car parked, like, really nice there. Also have a car wash mode. So I can see where I'm putting the wheel and if I put the wheels correctly on the roller. This is a really, really nice stuff. I also have another uh, cool feature, which is called reversing assistant. So I'll show that in a bit because I want to show the new iDrive system, which now works like this. So we have um, icons here on the side and also we have widgets so I can uh, personalize every bit of it so I can uh, see communication instead of media radio and here I can see um, added uh, traffic information uh, let's add another thing let's add sport displays and when I'm done I can see uh, this is my new home screen now with sport displays I can see the power output, I can see communication, that my phone is connected, I can see the radio station and I can also add information here about my compass, local traffic situation, another spot display <laughs> looking differently and so on. I can also see the car and I have carrying car so I can say, hey BMW, I am tired. I have activated the Vitalize program. And this Vitalize program will blow more powerful or less powerful the air conditioning and we can hear also this specially entertaining music. I can also choose relax and we also have experience modes, executive, expressive well-being and so on with different settings. It plays with ambient light, temperature, climate control, seat ventilation and so on. I can control the iDrive system with my finger, with gesture controls for music. I can pause like that and I can answer or deny phone calls like that. I can also use this ceramic iDrive swivel and it works really lovely. I think it's the best infotainment system if you ask me from all of the market. Um, here we have some apps with news. The car is connected to the internet. So here are the latest news in my country. I can also see weather information both at my place or uh, the destination place. I can also add shortcuts here on these buttons. Everything works really lovely. The button feels premium and overall the car fits really nicely. And I think it's the best limousine uh, you can buy right now. But uh, one more thing, I have to show you the reversing assistant. And uh, the car keeps in a computer the last 50 meters you've uh, made going forward and then it will try to replicate it uh, when you are reversing. I'll show you in a bit. So let's say we're going now on this street on the left. And we have some obstacles that we want to avoid. And now if I reverse and activate the reversing assistant, the car will steer by itself, avoiding any imaginary obstacles I have and it will do so for the last uh, 50 meters. See, I'm not doing anything. And that's really nice. So it's really hard to hit this car, especially when you're trying to park or reverse because it has a lot of functions. It has a lot of cool features. That's it for today with this car. I hope you like it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. See you next time. Bye.